to the last ten I ran away with my life fast forward Never turn back again It's kind of funny that the more we pass time The more we need to set the rewind And 19 was the year I had to leave you But now I'm seeing all the signs Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true I'm just as surprised as you Hey folks, we're back with the next episode of Ollie's Mini Willie's Jeep Build. We just installed the mirrors and I think they look absolutely brilliant. And I think that's all the bodywork just about done. The next stage is the electrics. Um, we need to build a wire loom for this thing. We've not been dreading it, but we've not really been looking forward to this part. We're going to try and use the original TRX250 quad wiring loom, but we're going to have to make some uh, amendments to that. So that's the main air lead for the engine. It connects onto the solenoid for the starter motor. Then up to our voltage regulator. This regulates the voltage to around 14.4 volts. It charges the battery, runs all the electrics. Then up to the coil, which generates a high voltage and sends that down to the spark plug cap and then into the spark plug. Then we have the CDI unit, which essentially times the spark. And a couple of fuses for the lights and up to our, essentially our dashboard which has a neutral light at the top and a reverse light and also the ignition barrel. We want to retain all of this stuff for the Jeep. And then you have the controls for the engine. So you got your kill switch, your headlights on, your headlight dip and your choke control cable. All of this needs to be sliced, diced and re-spliced for our Mini Willys Jeep. So we've got a ton of work to do, Ollie. Are you up for it? Yeah, definitely. Great, let's get cracking. For now, we'll use the original TRX ignition barrel. It's nearly 40 years old, it's shown a bit wear, but they do sell replacement parts and we'll probably swap that out further down the line. We are using a brand new starter button. It's rated to 30 amps, but we're using a relay just in case. It comes with this little rubber cap, which keeps the moisture out. These are an absolute pain to cut out. I spent about half an hour with a Dremel, and then another half an hour with a tiny file smoothing off the edges. The green light shows when you're in neutral, the red light shows when you're in reverse, and the Jeep will only start when you're in neutral. And this is the oil temperature light from the quad. I think it's so cool. It's so retro looking. Fits in perfectly. So just the choke build to install and we can get on with the rest of the wire.
awkward parts of the entire wiring job. Every wire for the engine, the lights and the dashboard need to pass through that tiny one inch hole in the grommet. Then the loom needs to be fed through the bulkhead of the firewall if you're in the States. And finally, the grommet installed in the bulkhead. But once installed, the loom is protected from any sharp edges or vibrations. I love these crimp type connectors, but I always feel it's best practice to put a little bit of solder on there as well, just as extra insurance against those electrical gremlins. from your hand. Where is it? In the bin. Yeah. I don't, I'm sold them. Can I have it then? No. Please. You go to the shops anyway, you I know. No, I'm gonna have it in the car. No, but you don't bump me, I'm sold Please. them. Please. Well, I like geese piece. Can I have it? Well, you're moving the truck. It's not a truck, it's a jeep. You're moving the jeep. Please. I want to take a picture of my bubble bee friend. It's on the table in the dining room, I think. Yeah, so I got you to say it. Only because I know we'll get rid of you. 
You give me peace. Yeah. Okay, so the screen's so not it's moving. It's not again. working. Why is it's doing that? I don't know why it's not working. I mean, why is it not working? Yeah, it should be. It's Dude, strange. wait, can you hear me through this? No, I can't hear you just now because you're, oh. you're the one wearing the headset. I can hear you through this. Do you get an echo? Kind of. So, so it's like, eh, eh, eh. The me on the mic um, speaks after actual me. Yeah, it's, it's kind of off-putting, isn't it? We need to get that... We need to get that screen working so that we can actually see what we're talking about. It's not going to work very well if we can't see that. Yeah, no. Well, Ollie, it took us a long time to get here, and uh, this episode's been a real tough one just because of all the yeah. electrics and the wiring that we had to do, but I think it's been worth it, hasn't it? Yeah. We've got the... Uh, Let's get the ignition on. Yeah, let's get it on. Yeah, we've got the, the headlights, the flash. My yeah. dad had to push we've the Jeep into the park. I oh, know. And he was like out of breath so yeah, much. Yeah, it was tough. This thing's heavier than it looks. Yeah, we've I got, was steering it as well. We've got right hand indicator, left hand indicator. We've even got hazard lights. Yep. And we've got, do you want to press the horn? Yeah. The siren? So this let's siren, siren. will make a big squeal. Ah! Oh, again, like that again, all of that sounds. Yeah. Okay. Ah! So, this is the right indicator, and this is the left indicator, yeah. and I'll flash my light. And headlight, good. Okay, so that tells you that you flash your lights that are going blue. Cool, I'll and get on the other side, hang on. Okay, it shows the uh, hazard light. Hazard light, just press the button and then it'll turn red and fly. Ah, really? Okay, let's lastly, let's hear the horn. And pay your ears. Ah! Lessons come one in a dozen The other eleven get something from nothing I sit here looking for an answer Maybe the biggest question was in the last chapter You gave me the soul I have today Without you I never could have moved away But now I see what you teach I do believe I always should have stayed yeah. Well Ollie, looks like that brings us almost to the end of another episode So what's next? All we have to do now is strip it down and find it. Yeah, <laughs> we need to strip it down to the chassis, strip all the panels off it, paint the body, paint the panels, paint the chassis, and then build it back up again and put the transfers on it. We haven't driven it in the park because we get into trouble for that, but I think we need to start thinking about a camping trip with this Jeep. We need to get it off-road, get out for a couple of nights, and you and your mates can drive it. Yeah! Yeah. Okay, folks. Thanks for watching. Tune in to the next episode. And subscribe! The other 11 is something from nothing. Life lessons come one in a dozen. The other 11 is something from nothing. Life lessons come one in a dozen. The other 11 is something from nothing. Life changes just open the door. But one thing's certain, I'll always be yours. Yeah.